Hey guys, what's going on? So we're going to be taking our sword mount into Battle Royale now and just checking out what's going on with it. So I don't usually hop on it straight in the beginning. I usually like to see what's going on here in the middle. Just, yeah, gonna go to Captain Sam first, try and clear some of these little uh, panda dudes for some extra points. And I see some coming up. Okay, there's a spark thing that's rather dangerous. Go away from me, please. Alright, well, can take care of him with my Captain Sam, maybe? Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I had a little bit of help, but... So, I think I'll hop on my sword in a second. Let's see, um... It's just kind of dangerous now. There are, like, three Fireborns, so... Ah, okay, well, I'm dead. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hop on it now, just so you guys can see. Now, I do really like the sword. Of course, I don't stand much chance against those Tier 3 Fireborns because it is a tier 1 right now with only 2 armor pieces on it, but it is really strong, so its normal attack is already pretty strong, and this the uh, first skill you see there, it uh, sends out a big C there, which is also quite strong, and, oh well, <laughs> it's almost dead. So like, so like I said, it is rather fragile, still being a tier 1. All tier 1 mounts are going to be fragile when faced with tier 3 and 4 mounts, or whatever, but uh, it does have quite a bit of attack power and a very long range. And you can control where it's firing, uh, unlike the Fireborn where he's just shooting his balls everywhere. Uh, okay, I died again. So yeah, very long range. Uh, controlled range, so you can uh, choose where you're firing. Oh man, this is not a very good battle royale. I'm just going and dying all the time. But yeah, I do really like it. Like I said, it's first skill. Uh, shoots very far, and if you hit it again, you will uh, you will transport to the position. But that's not a very good idea most of the time. Not for a tier one. You will usually just transport to a cluster full of enemies. But then the uh, second skill there, where you see the three next to it, comes in handy because it's a pretty big area of effect and a pretty strong attack. I just used it now, and yeah. It also stuns them for, I think, two seconds and does a lot of damage. So, and also one thing that I uh, just uh, learned about the sword is that when you have a close enemy, you're taking less damage, like all the time. Okay, well, now it's dead. But anyway, yeah. That's basically actually about it about the sword mount. Uh, the pros are decent health. Decent damage, very good range. Even for a tier 1, it can survive. I think it has as much HP as a Spark Fang, and even a bit more of the defensive stats, like uh, crit reduction, dodge, and stuff like that. So, stats wise, very good mount, and its skills I also like. The second skill with the uh, counter on it is a little bit harder to use for me because I want to keep at a range, especially as a tier 1, but if you can get that sword eventually up to tier 2, tier 3, maybe even up to tier 4, it's gonna be up. It's going to be awesome. So it's just most of the ways to get the sword mount are through topping up and paying, so I would not recommend sticking with it uh, when you are not willing to do that. Rather stick to Spark Fang, Fireborn, the amounts you can get with Blood Gems. But anyway, I will be back a little bit later when my sword is back. Alright, so our sword is back now and just killing some goblins here. Very interesting stuff. And the Warlord, oh, well, here's a, f a couple Fireborns. Gonna try and use this uh, second skill here so you can see it did stun them and it stunned them again. And I'm gonna do it again, and it stuns them again. Okay, but now I'm silenced, so I should get out of there. It is also actually really good to escape a situation, I would say. You can stun them and then uh, go on your way. Uh, granted, they don't silence you first, but yeah. So, the first skill there, where it sends out this big wave of energy, is strong, and also can have a second part, but I don't usually use that second part because, like I said, I would just go into a big cluster of enemies and die instantly. So, I don't think there's any chance for us to get the Warlord, I mean, as you can see from the points up there, this is a completely horrible battle royale, and honestly, I didn't really want to post this, but uh, obviously I am if you're hearing this. Also, there is a trick with the uh, sword mount where you can go to one side of, or you can go onto a bridge uh, when using this teleport move from this middle area. Uh, if you look down there on the map, you can go to the bridges. Uh, if you're on the very edge and you can time it right. I've seen this done by uh, SS Alexandria and 
uh, on Khalifa, I believe. But yeah, I think that's going to be all for this battle royale. Uh, the rest, since my mount did just die, I won't really have it until the end anyway. Maybe you got a decent idea about what it's doing now. It is rather strong, it's a very good mount, but in the end, if you can't tier it up past tier 1, it's not going to be good. So it's good for it's good for beginners and good for the in-game player as long as you're willing to pay for it. Anyway, on to the next day here, and I decided to pull 10 for the uh, Captain Sam because Captain Sam is the timed pet now. And I actually got really lucky because I got the 20 Phoenix Souls as well, along with uh, 11 Captain Sam Souls because the 4 guaranteed. Also 2 orange items, so that was really good. Uh, Phoenix and Captain Sam are the two pets I am focused on right now. Uh, they are the pets I want to keep maxed at all times. And when I get to level 69, I would like... Well, it's going to be a little bit hard since I can't farm gold pills yet. I can only get them out of the bazaar. So that's going to be a little bit harder. But I think I do have 25 gold pills already. And I would need 40 when I hit level 69 to be able to get them to 70. So we'll see. I'm not sure exactly right now which pet I'm going for first. I, I'm leaning towards Phoenix because I want... Oh, okay. Well, here's 5... Here's 50 more, or 20 more Phoenix Souls, so I'm trying to get 500 Crystals real quick. Uh, I think I'd rather go with that. Ah, uh, no, wait. Was that the... Yeah, okay, that, that's fine. Uh, there's 20 more Phoenix Souls, so I'm going for those. And I would like the uh, number one pet title before it's too late, so I'm really focused on raising Phoenix to a high Evo and high level and try and always keep it maxed, and also have a lot of uh, Awakenings on it which are also high level, so maybe by the time I hit level 70 I can get it to Evo 8 or so and uh, really focus all of my Awaken EXP on it and maybe, at least maybe for one day, have that uh, top pet. That's all I would need it for, I don't care about the pet, the actual pet title, but I would like to have it just as uh, in the collection. But yeah, I actually haven't made that much progress since the last video to be honest. I'm about 20k might up and I did raise my sword mount a little bit, so it's level 20 now. But yeah, not too much anymore. Like I said, um, progress is going to start going a bit slower now, so the updates might be further and further apart. Guess that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like down below and comment if you have anything to say. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time.